how big of a deal is Dakota Ibre leaving the BPT, Major League Fishing, and going to qualify in the Opens? That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you can do me a favor before we get into it, if you can click that like and subscribe button and become part of the team and family, I really would appreciate it. So the news yesterday was Dakota Ibre, one of the most consistent anglers on Major League Fishing in the Bass Pro Tour, is leaving to go fish the Opens and to get into the elites. And how big of a deal is that for a successful, consistent angler leaving the BPT to get to the elites? If you don't know who Dakota Ibre is, he is a very consistent angler. That's what you're going to hear a lot in this video. In the last few years, Dakota has had 22 top 10 finishes with I think is two wins. He is currently the fourth ranked angler in the world. That is huge. He started fishing FLW back in 2019 and is just been on a level up every year. Started in FLW, got into the BPT, and has just been one of the better anglers consistently year after year. So consistent that I think he cashes a check almost 80% of the time. And that is stupid. There are not many anglers that over the last four or five years that are cashing a check almost at that 80% range. And Dakota is fishing at the highest level. For example, in 2023, he finished fifth in Angler of the Year points and made probably over $153,000. And then he, in 2022, he finished fourth in Angler of the Year points with about $159,000. He fished the Pro Circuit in 2022 and finished ninth for another $138,000. And he finished 10th in the 2021 Pro Circuit for about $53,000 plus, 14th in 2020 and 27th in 2019. There has been a model showing that not only is he consistent, but he is making a lot of money. And it leads you to ask the question, why would he be leaving all of this money to go fish the elites? That's the question. Now, Dakota had a very great video on his Instagram page saying that God was showing him the way that he wanted to be. And there's a lot of anglers that are, a lot of anglers and fans that are going to say some people aren't good at catching the five fish, but to be quite honest, Dakota's proven that whatever you throw at him, he's not only going to catch them, but he's going to exceed beyond all expectations. And while I very much appreciate that his decision is based on his faith, which is absolutely remarkable and respectful and amazing, it the question is, is how much does this hurt BPT? I'm going to be honest. I think this is a big one. I think this is a nail. I hate to say that because Dakota's one of those guys that is constantly pushing the envelope to get better. He's a pro uh, sponsored by Strike King and Lose and some of the best sponsors in the world. And they don't take just anybody to be on there. Dakota's proven consistently year after year that he is one of the best anglers out there. And it does hurt Bass, the Bass Pro Tour for him to requalify or want to go to the Opens and Fish 9 events and try to requalify for the Elites and then try to go after a Bassmaster Classic Championship. There is a lot to be said for this. There's probably, it probably was heavy on his mind to make this decision and sponsorships might add something to do with it. I don't know. But this is a nail for BPT. This is not a good thing. This is Jordan Lee. This is a step up from Jordan Lee, in my opinion, right now. And I'm not saying anything negative about Jordan Lee, because Jordan Lee is absolutely a stud. But right now, Dakota Ebrae's in that Wheeler conversation consistently year after year. He is a great angler that's now going to go back down to the Opens and try to qualify for the Leeds. Now, how fast will that happen? At the... At the current rate that he is fishing and the way he is fishing, any place he goes, he can win. And he's consistent enough to fish nine opens to qualify probably after one year. I can't say that about everyone else. There's a lot of pros that have left BPT and gone into the elites and the, and the opens trying to requalify that just are great anglers and have great names, but just aren't at the level of Dakota is at this point in, in this stage 
of his career. And as much as Major League Fishing and the Bass Pro Tour will probably not admit it, this really hurts this tournament group. The Bass Pro Tour should be looking inside at what's going on because I think this has to do with a lot of the constant changes that are happening. There's never anything stable with Bass Pro Tour. And while Bass has made many mistakes in the, the past, will make mistakes in the future, just like everyone else will, Bass is always the same. As much as that stinks, there's something to be said there. You know what you're getting. You don't know what you're getting with the Bass Pro Tour year after year because what can be done this year is gonna be probably changed next year. And those constant changes are irritable. It's irritable as me as a fan and as you know too. And I think anglers that are wanting a consistent format and a consistent schedule and knowing what's going on consistently, that's the key word, consistent, I don't think they get it with the Bass Pro Tour. Not right now. And that's one of the things that Boyd and all the, the people that own Bass Pro Tour need to look at. They need to take a, a step back and start looking at why anglers are consistently leaving to go back to the leads. And I know some of them are because they want to win a classic. I understand that. Or some of them like the five fish more. But there's other anglers who have been with Bass Pro Tour and then get to go back to the leads because either their sponsors tell them that they will pay them more or they just like the five fish format a little bit more. But I really do think it comes down to the constant changes that are happening. I know, like I said, as a fan, it's very irritable. It's really irritable. It's confusing. And anglers, as much as we might not like to admit this, we are loyal and we want things to stay the same. Just look at the forward faces and sonar blow ups that are happening. We don't like change. We don't. Change is tough because we're not comfortable knowing that if change is going to be successful for us. And the BPG changes every year, sometimes during the year. Sometimes in the last couple months, it's changed two or three times, the format change. And that is inconsistent. And we don't like it. But I want to know what you think. Do you think Dakota made a the right decision going back down to the opens, which are stacked with some of the best anglers out there to then get back to the elites or should he have stayed on the BPT where he is had he has been incredibly successful he's probably won over seven hundred fifty thousand dollars over the last three or four or five years that's a lot of money did he make the right decision you tell me okay comment below and tell me what you think thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button make sure you of course comment below and tell me what you think Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.